It's all because of geography. I'm standing on the George Washington Bridge on the massive and mighty Hudson River. And uh, there's my bicycle. All right, so why is this a geographically significant spot? Well, you know, all, all spots are geographically significant in some way. This particular one, because it is the main route from the Atlantic Ocean to the interior of New York. So the old settlers would, uh, after Henry Hudson, they followed him and sailed up this river. New York became a mighty, mighty city in part because of its <coughs> geographic location. Why am I coughing? Well, that has to do with geography too. Because there's all these fumes from these trucks and cars. Why is this a, a significant crossing point? Take a look at that, uh, those palisades in New Jersey, those stones and rocks. They provide some really nice <coughs> bridge footings upon which these bridge supports were built. So this is the only crossing of the river for miles and miles and miles. You can't cross a river, you can cross on some some tunnels up there and then there's uh, a Verrazano Narrows and a couple of other bridges that go to New Jersey but there's not another bridge here until I-87 which is quite a few miles up that way so so this bridge provides a much needed link between northern New York City and New Jersey so New York is here, New Jersey's right there. So once again, it's all because of geography. Get out there and explore the world. Let's use a free 3D GIS from ESRI called ArcGIS Explorer to examine this region more closely. I can quickly see the site and situation advantage of New York City being on the mouth of the Hudson River. Changing to a 3D effect, I can navigate up the Hudson. I almost feel like I'm Henry Hudson navigating up it for the first time. There's the bridge where I was standing when I filmed the video. And there's the view I had from the bridge. Let's change the base map now and look at the topography of the area. Ah, very nice. Now we can see clearly that the Hudson River is really the gateway to the entire upper part of New York State and beyond to Lake Ontario. Now let's use a free online GIS called ArcGIS Online to examine the area. I'm going to make a new map and zoom to the area of interest. Let's change the base map now to an image base map. Now we can discuss the site and situation of New York City once again.
and here's the bridge where I was standing when I filmed the video. There's the exact spot. We can compare the land use between the New York side and the New Jersey side. We can also change the base map so that we're looking at some sort of thematic layers. Let's say I wanted to look at, for example, median age. There's the median age. Let's take a look at a legend. And let's change the base map so I can see some labels behind it. Right away I can notice some differences here. I notice that the New York side is a lot younger than the New Jersey side. So we can talk about commuting, the presence of universities, and other factors that might pull up or pull down the median age. In the same way, let's find the median household income. And I see that the median income is higher, especially to the north of the bridge on the New Jersey side than on the New York side. Let's take a look at physical geography now and take a look at how about ecoregions or land use. There's my land cover map from the US Geological Survey looking at the urban area but let's zoom out. At a smaller scale I can see the forest of upper New York I can see the agricultural areas, the pasture, the row crops, the orchards, and other things. So, with just a few additions of data and a few different scales, I can illustrate using ArcGIS Online the site and situation of New York City the position where I took the videos and recorded my hands-on, on-the-ground field notes, and also the physical and cultural geography of the vicinity and the whole region.